Leangelo Ball was once a popular figure, but he isn't talked about much these days. What happened and is happening in this kid's life? Did he go to prison? Did he get injured? Or was he just a PR stunt? Here's what really happened to Leangelo Ball. First of all, Leangelo Ball is one of those who was born with a silver spoon. He didn't grow up fatherless like LeBron, nor did he experience homelessness at the age of 13 like Jimmy Butler. Let alone growing up without a father, Leangelo's father, LeVar, provides extensive support to his sons in terms of basketball. And the relationship between Leangelo and his father has been a significant aspect of their family's public image. LeVar is known for his outspoken and confident personality, often making bold statements and promoting his son's basketball abilities. The ball boys are my three sons most dominating basketball players ever to be raised. In addition, Leangelo's brothers, Lonzo and Lamelo, have been hoopers since childhood. So, growing up, Leangelo played basketball alongside his brothers in Chino Hills, California. What a lovely sibling bond. It's highly likely that Jokic used to fight with his brother at that age, huh? Well, let's not say too much about Jokic's brothers. We wouldn't want to get ourselves in trouble, would we? Anyway, the three brothers gained national recognition while playing for Chino Hills High School. And my man's scoring ability and shooting skills were notable, and he played a significant role in the team's undefeated season in 2016. <laughs> Following his high school success, Leangelo committed to play college basketball at UCLA. Jeez, everything seems fine, doesn't it? A happy life, a good college environment, and a young man pursuing his passion. However, life also involves some impulsive decisions, my friends. Some spontaneous choices can haunt us for a lifetime. And when Leangelo was in college, this dude did something that required the intervention of the then president of the United States, Donald Trump. Let me pique your curiosity even more. The incident that had a significant impact on his basketball career was caused by a pair of sunglasses. Yep, you heard me right, guys. Just because a pair of sunglasses. The incident took place in Hangzhou, China where the UCLA basketball team was staying before a game against Georgia Tech. Leangelo and his teammates were accused of stealing sunglasses from a Louis Vuitton store in a shopping mall, and the incident gained significant media attention, both in the United States and internationally. 700 miles south in Shanghai, three UCLA basketball players have been arrested for shoplifting expensive sunglasses from a Louis Vuitton store. As the players face potential legal consequences in China, you know why? Because shoplifting is considered a serious offense in China and can result in severe penalties. Why would you like some glasses or as much money as you got? The thrill? What, son? Tell me something, man, because I'm blind right now, man. Damn. Just imagine your life being turned upside down over a pair of sunglasses. Horrible. Fortunately, the situation was resolved through diplomatic efforts. U.S. President Donald Trump, who was on a state visit to China at the time, and, as I said, personally intervened and discussed the matter with the Chinese president, Xi Jinping. As a result of these discussions, the players were released and allowed to return to the United States. The basketball players, by the way, I know a lot of people are asking. Two days ago, I had a great conversation with President Xi. Hopefully everything's going to work out. And I know they're very grateful because they were told exactly what happened. Oh, Donald Trump had to put in extra work because of Jello. By the way, it was certainly positive that my man didn't ride away in Chinese prisons. However, of course, there were consequences to his actions, and they did occur. The incident had consequences for Leangelo's college basketball career. He left UCLA shortly after the incident without playing a regular season game for the university. Leangelo has decided to leave UCLA rather than sit out the team's stiff suspension for the shoplifting incident. Jello later pursued professional opportunities overseas before declaring for the NBA draft in 2018. And Leangelo said, I don't know, I guess it's the way I play, I, I guess. Or the I did off the court. Oh, I'm not sure about that, man. Because if we look at the list of NBA players with criminal records, our video will be quite extensive. And I actually think he knows this. You know why? He could have easily given up. He's still pushing. He has something Lonzo and Melo don't. Out of the three brothers, Jello's story is without a doubt the most inspiring. Got dropped from UCLA, powered through it, draft didn't go the way he wanted to, so he worked even harder, rooting for this guy. For example, at one point, this kid even played for a monthly salary of $500. Yes, you heard me right. He was earning $500 per month while playing for Bernard Bristona's Vitatas. Leangelo earned less playing for them than working at McDonald's. That's just ridiculous, dude. What's a buy now at $500? Two Jordan shoes, maybe? Anyway, you got the point. My man's not after money or fame. He just wants to focus on basketball. At the end of the day, we all make mistakes. I'm happy for this guy. Made one mistake and it changed his path. But he's still walking it, and he will soon reach his destination. He's currently playing in the G League 
and he's actually doing pretty well. The fact he kept up in his career high shows he's a baller. Not too many G-Leaguers score about 30, more than 10 times a season. Jello really showed that he can be a deadly scorer with this performance. All he needs to do is gain a little bit of confidence and consistency. He really needs that because he once played in an NBA game and airballed his first shot. But a lie, this kid is supposed to be calmer, but to be honest, it's understandable that he's nervous. Imagine stepping onto an NBA court for the first time and having so many expectations, which makes the game difficult to play. However, after shaking off that tension, this kid would be a superstar. But I have to say guys, it's clear that there's a long process ahead. You know why? Because he never played in a place with the intense competition found in the NBA. As I said earlier, he played for a team in Lithuania for just $500 a month. After playing Lithuania in 2018, he played for the Los Angeles Ballers team in the league established by his father. Now, LeVar plans to take LiAngelo's future into his own hands. I'm going to get Jello in shape. I'm going to work him out. We're going to do some other things, and he's going to be headed to the NBA. He even broke a season record by scoring 58 points in a single game. But in 2019, he was unable to play due to an ankle injury. And in 2020, he played only one game due to COVID-19. However, people still knew his potential. In 2021, Ball was selected 14th overall by the Greensboro Swarm in the 2021 NBA G League draft. In the 2021-2022 season, he averaged 4.6 points and 1.1 rebounds over 28 games. After that season, he joined the Charlotte Hornets for the 2022 NBA Summer League. And on September 26, 2022, Ball signed a non-guaranteed contract with the Hornets. However, he was waived on October 15, 2022 and rejoin the Greensboro Swarm roster for training camp. But once misfortune befalls you, nothing seems to go right for you. And that's exactly what happened to Leangelo. The six foot five player hardly played any games during the 2022-2023 season due to an issue with his left ankle. It seems like we need to be patient to understand what the future holds for this young man. However, it's not always misfortune that comes this way. He recently became a father. This is one of the positive aspects in his life. Hopefully, his newborn child brings him luck in life. In this regard, we need to mention his own father, LeVar, as well. Say what you want about LeVar's boisterous personality, bad takes, and inflated brand, but when it comes to wanting the best for his boys, his heart is pure gold. He's an involved father, literally gives his kids the world, and he's generally hurt when his kids mess up. What are your thoughts, my friends? What are your expectations from LiAngelo? Let us know in the comments. Who do you think, in your opinion, who, who's, the, who's the best brother in your eyes? No, me. For you, for yeah, sure, right? we play one-on-one-on-one. -on -one -on -one. We played that before. I be winning off. Yeah, you be winning off? I close doors on. I feel it. You be bullying them? I be posting shit. Yeah, yeah. I'm too big, bro. <laughs> but, yeah, I like they, they got game, though, but. I know it. One-on-ones, I'm there with it.